best way to have realistic animation is to use motion capture data. And in this series, we're going to show you how to use Motion Builder to uh, bring, uh, to edit and uh, bring that motion capture data into Cinema 4D for rendering. So in the Motion Builder series, we're going to give you uh, all the workflow and tools you need to make your Cinema 4D characters move. In the 10 chapters of the series, we work with aliens, knights, SWAT police, and robots to teach them how to swing a sword or move their tail or do parkour or uh, do some boxing on uh, some dynamic box objects and uh, do all sorts of martial arts combinations. Uh, the tools and concepts uh, reviewed include uh, the story tool, characterizing skinned figures, uh, using key reduction, using the matching tool, uh, using the parenting constraint, uh, getting the most out of the physics solver, setting up for doing uh, ragdoll simulations, uh, synchronizing uh, motion clips that are uh, captured at the same time, and also fine-tuning the secondary movement in uh, Cinema 4D using uh, Cinema 4D's uh, dynamic tools. Uh, in the first uh, uh, lesson, we're just going to show you uh, just the basic workflow of just how to uh, bring in a skeleton, set it to drive a model, and just bake it and bring it back to Cinema 4D. Uh, in the second chapter, I'm going to show you how to use the Story Manager. And this is where we really get our workflow going, where we can just bring in motion clips and add it to our character and, and just watch it with immediate feedback and be able to edit it. Uh, in the third uh, chapter, I'm going to go over how to uh, bring in two motion capture files that were captured at the same time, uh, synchronized, and applying them to two figures and fine-tuning them so they look right, and then finally uh, bringing it back into Cinema 4D. And in 4, we're going to use a, a series of separate little motion capture files to create like a parkour scene. So we're going to have two figures with multiple uh, motion capture files driving them. And then uh, finally, in chapter five, I, I want to spend an entire chapter going over naming conventions and naming joints, because that is what really makes uh, using Motion Builder just work so much easier. And in six, I'm going to start uh, introducing dynamics in Motion Builder. And it's first just going to be setting up a figure, setting up some punching movement, and then finally adding the physics solver and creating uh, rigid body properties. Uh, and then in 7, we're, we're going to build on the previous chapter by uh, setting up a ragdoll uh, dynamics uh, rig for our character and knocking him down. And then, uh, then finally in chapter 8, we'll learn how to take this uh, dynamics data and have it uh, baked down to just a motion clip that we in turn can bake down to export into Cinema 4D. Uh, Chapter 9, we're going to show how to use uh, animation layers just to add a little bit of nuance to our uh, motion capture should there be some discrepancy in the data or just some discrepancy caused by the, the shape of our character. And then finally in Chapter 10, we're going to go into Cinema 4D and learn how to add some secondary uh, dynamic movement using the, uh, the IK tag. Well, this is going to uh, really be an exciting uh, series on uh, how to do animation and bring it into Cinema 4D, so uh, please join me.